Mark chapter nine verse forty-two. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for him if a mere stone were hung round his neck and he were thrown into the sea. In the previous verse, Jesus spoke about the reward for being hospitable to those who do the work of the Lord. In today's verse, he vividly describes what happens if we don't welcome them. He starts by referring to little ones. Who are these people? Based on Jesus' words and context in which they were spoken, we can understand that there were those who believed in him but did not belong to the group of disciples. If we study this verse alongside Matthew chapter 18 verses 1 to 5, it also becomes clear that he was talking about believers who neither belonged to any power group nor had any social influence. Jesus also refers to another group of people, whoever. Taken literally, this word encompasses everyone. But was there someone in particular that Jesus had in mind when he said this? Again, if we look at the context, we can see that he was talking to his disciples, those who would become the leaders of the early church. If we extrapolate from there, we can understand that Jesus was speaking to church leaders today. And anyone who has the power to cause another to stumble. It's important to know what the word stumble implies here. It means ensnaring another, uh, causing them to sin or be angry. When the disciples stopped the man who was driving out demons, it's highly likely he was intimidated or discouraged or stopped working for the Lord. You might ask yourself how serious this matter really is. Take note of what Jesus says next. He tells the disciples that if they had known the consequences of making another person stumble, they would have preferred to have a millstone hung around their neck and be cast into the sea. A millstone is either one of two large, flat, round stones that are used for grinding grain in a mill. In other words, Jesus was saying death would be a better option. But what can be worse than death? There's only one thing, the second death, in which a soul perishes forever. You probably don't anyone who would knowingly cause another to stumble spiritually if they realized it would result in an immediate death sentence. It is both ironic and tragic. However, that you no doubt know many who intimidate and discourage others even though they are aware it can result in eternal separation from God through the second death. May God bless you and keep you from committing such a grievous sin. If Jesus views this matter so seriously, then it is wise for us to be extremely cautious. Instead of causing these little ones to stumble, he suggests that we should give them a cup of water. That is, we should extend kindness to them. I encourage each of us to intentionally do something good for those who we think do not belong within our circle.